I'm about to do an inspection. I'm looking for any kind of damage on the home that could be found anywhere. Any painted or stained surfaces, any personal property that's damaged, the brick being chipped out, a light being cracked, any kind of damage anywhere. I wanna make sure that I document it. That way the adjuster can't miss those damages. We do a full photo assessment. This way we make sure that we have a photo report put together for the insurance adjuster. Collateral damage is really important because if there's a lot of collateral damage around the home, one, we want to make sure that we document it so that your insurance adjuster doesn't miss it and every piece of damage is caught on the claim and you're put back to full pre-storm condition. But also, collateral damage is a good sign that there's probably a lot of damage up on the roof because if there's damage all over the home, you can only assume that the top of your home on the surface that's covering the most of your home is gonna just be fully riddled with hail damage. This here is another example of collateral damage from hail. You can see that the hail just went right through the screen. We want to make sure that he gets this on the claim to have it rescreened, so he's put back to pre-storm conditions. So this right here is a prime example of why we're real thorough on our inspection. This is small hail damage. There's also lots of collateral damage right here on the gutter. So you want to document the hits on the fins of the AC, even though they're small, this could cause damage over time. And I want to just make sure that we get an AC combing put on the claim. So the collateral is one thing, but I always got to climb up on the roof and do my test squares. When I'm done with my test squares, I don't want you to just take my word for what I'm seeing. I'm going to fly a drone up there and I'm going to take overview photos so you can see exactly how many hits are in my 10 by 10 square. And then while I'm up there, I'm going to document up close what the hail looks like oh, from about three inches above so you can see the actual dent and damage to the shingle. So a 10 by 10 test square is 100 square feet. And that's what the insurance uses to judge whether or not your shingle is or your roof will be totaled or not. And if there's sufficient damage for replacement and the way they think about it is if you have eight or more hits in a hundred square feet and you multiply a hundred square feet amongst the square feet of the roof and then you have that many hits so that's how they kind of deem whether or not they're going to replace the roof and that's why we use the insurance standard as our inspection standard the final thing i want to leave you with is here at mammoth we're going to give you a fair assessment if you don't have any hail damage we're going to come down and tell you you don't have any hail damage but if you do we're going to walk you through the insurance process and try to make this as easy as possible for you the hardest thing you have to do when you go with mammoth as your contractor is pick a shingle color that's how we want it to be